all right y'all welcome back tonight we're gonna be cooking some ground uh, turkey meatballs with uh, some yellow rice and beans let's get these onions chopped up if this is your first time joining please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and as well follow me over there on instagram at the at island in the box catering all right, don't forget to follow me there. All right, so I'm just finishing up these chopped onions. Get them in the bucket. Next, I'm gonna start on my sweet peppers. I like to cut them in big chunks when I'm cooking my meatballs. I like to see a very colorful pot. And I'm just getting the seeds out of there. Chop these up. Um, you could use any amount you like. You know, it's your discretion, at your discretion, whatever it is you like. So let's get these going, baby. Let's get these going. Yes. I love good food. I don't know about you guys, but I love good food. I had to pause for a second, you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so we're chopping up this last sweet pepper here. And, um... Next, I'm going to use some garlic. I love garlic. You can never have too much garlic for me. I'm a garlic fan, just rinsing those off. And clearing off the board a little bit, so I'm just getting these gar this garlic chopped up. Dice these gar garlics up. Get them in the bowl with the rest of the fresh seasonings. Um, I absolutely love fresh seasonings and dried herbs in my food. All right, so I also like some spice. I'm gonna use my scotch bonnet pepper. I had to pause for a second because I left it in the freezer. Uh, not too much, because I wanna be able to eat it. These peppers are really hot. All right, so next I have some rice and beans. I'm using jasmine rice tonight, but you can use any rice of your choice. And I'm um, using red beans, and like, I, like again, you can use any beans of your choice. Okay, so let's get this washed oops 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 got my camera all over the place acting crazy all right so let's get this rice well washed make sure you wash your rice really well y'all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so let's get the beans in the pot um you can use like i said any type of beans you like i just want to throw the water off of the beans okay let's get them in here use some water to get the remaining beans out of the can just trying to find my kitchen spoon where is my spoon all right here we go all right so we're just getting everything out of the bottom of the can that's stuck down there add some more water to that make sure I get everything out and there we go all right so now I'm going to add some turmeric to the pot oh wait a minute goodness all right i had to open it y'all it's a new bottle <laughs> all right so i'm throwing a good amount in there because i want my rice to have that nice yellow color some dried thyme good amount of that and some parsley flakes all right, see, this is not enough. Let's open the bigger side. There we go, there we go. All right, and then some chicken bouillon. Let's get that in there. Season this rice water really well. All right, and then we're gonna just stir that up. Oh, oh yeah, my minced garlic. Did I forget to add that? Yes, I did. So just add that now, get it in there. And what I'm gonna do is just cover it down a little bit and let's get started on the turkey now my meat is already washed I already washed it with some lemon um, and vinegar and I threw some salt and black pepper on it so it's just to soak it in there a little bit but I'm not done seasoning it so I just want to mix that in that salt and that black pepper and then I'm gonna add some you know parsley flakes again I'm going to add some black pepper and I am gonna add some dry thyme. And again, my chicken bouillon. Make sure I get that in there a good amount. 
and we're gonna uh, I'm gonna stir that all in make sure I get that seasoning in that meat properly now you can use any type of ground meat you like pork beef chicken uh, turkey and I'm not adding any eggs. You can if you want to, but my, you know, I have a little one in the house that's allergic to eggs. So I'm just gonna scoop that up with a spoon, roll that up, and get these meatballs in shape, in formation. Yep. Now do make sure you that you have your oil um, heated already on your um, for the meatballs. All right. So now that I got the beans here kind of cooked in a little bit softer, I'm going to add the rice to the pot. And I use like a little bit more than a half of the bag. As you can see, it was a small bag. Um, so we're going to stir it in and add some butter. A good amount of butter. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's all in there. Stir that in. And... I'm gonna put the lid back on there until some of that water is down a little bit. And then I'll get the meatball started now. As you can see, my pot is already preheated with the oil, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add these meatballs in there. One by one, give them some color. Definitely gonna get them dark on each side. I'll probably give it like mm, two minutes, two minutes on each side for them to get color and then turn them over, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, all right, let's get these bad boys in, mm, you guys, I wish you guys could smell the rice, it smells so delicious already, and it's not even done, all right, so I'm gonna get these in here, I'm gonna get as many as I can in this pot, I do need to get a bigger frying pot, but it's just me and my children, so, anyways, all right. All right, let's get in there, see if I can hold a few more. Can I? Yeah. All right, as you can see, I got the water down, I um, dried out a little bit, so I'm gonna just use the foil paper so it can steam the rest of the rice. Um, get it really soft, not too soft. I like my rice shelly. All right, and back to the meatballs. Are they ready yet? No, not quite yet. I'm gonna let those, all right. See how those are golden brown? So I just want to flip them over. And I did speed my video up, you guys. You'd be sitting here watching me for the whole time, like forever, <laughs> watching this meal being prepped. So we're just going to turn those over. Get the other side just as golden brown. Mm -hmm. Now I told you I had them on that side for like two, three minutes on each side. There we go. So, all right. So these are all done uh, getting their color. I'm gonna just take them out the pot because I don't want to use all that oil to cook the uh, seasoning. So I'm gonna take these meatballs out, and then once they're all out, I'm gonna throw some of this oil off. Not too much because I still want the flavor of the meatballs onto the seasoning. So I'm just gonna throw off some of these. See. And now I'm just gonna throw in my garlic and my scotch bonnet pepper. Mm. You can see I still have some of that um, meatball residue in the pot there. So I'm just gonna throw my fresh seasonings right on top of that. Stir that in. Stir that in well. Turn the fire up just a little bit more. And stir that in. Clean as I go. That's my kitchen rules. <laughs> oh piece of onion got away that's all right all right just keep stirring just keep stirring just keep stirring all right and just add a little tip of water give a little sizzle there fold that in stir that in stir that in all right now what I'm gonna do is add the meatballs on top of that put the rest of them in there I love a colorful dish um, what I'm going to add is some ginger paste. I should have probably added that before I put the meatballs in, but that's okay. As long as we get it in there and stir that in. Let me just make sure I mix this ginger paste out. Yeah, I want to make sure it's all in there. I wish you guys could smell this. Throw some more fresh parsley, dried parsley, the flakes. 
and some ketchup. A little amount of ketchup in there. I'm just gonna stir that up, stir that up. And I'm gonna add the water, some gravy. What am I forgetting? No, nothing, let me just add the rest of this water. And stir that up. Yes, I love plenty of gravy. And I'm gonna also add a little bit of brown sugar. Um, you can add honey or agave. I don't have either one. I only have my brown sugar, so I'm using brown sugar. Just a little bit and some more dry thyme. And I'm gonna stir that all in. And also some browning. Uh, that's just to give it a little, you know, darken it a little bit. Not too much, because that really gets the pot really dark, as you guys can see. Okay, just a little bit of browning. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cover this down, let it simmer for like another 20 minutes. In the meantime, I am going to um, shred some cabbage, we'll make some coleslaw. Let me just rinse that off, okay, and just cut a little piece, just a small piece off. Um, I'm the only one that really loves coleslaw in my house, so I'm just gonna make a little. All right, so let's just get this grater. This is just quick and easy to make a simple coleslaw. Let's grater this out. And when I get those fine pieces in the centered grater, I like to like fold those big pieces over and grater again. Nothing is wasted. So we get those gratered well. Be careful not to cut yourself, you guys. All right. Now, I end up chopping the rest of the pieces with a knife, so let's just get this in the bucket. Get this all up in here, all up in here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is get this cutting board out of the way, clean my countertops off, clean as you go. So I'm gonna use some shredded carrots. It's already shredded. And you can shred them yourself or greater them yourself, but I like like I said, why work harder when you can work smarter? All right, so let's get these well rinsed. Don't want any pests in my salad, in my coleslaw. All right, I'm just gonna throw that right on top of my cabbage. And then I'm going to add some mayo. Not too much, just a little bit. And I'm going to add some brown sugar, just a little bit and some salt just sprinkle a few dashes here and there and in we go and we're going to stir that right in make sure everything is mixed up well and proper of course well and proper <laughs> all right yes 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 i can't wait to dive in all right so we've got that all mixed in so what i'm going to do is cover it up and put it in the refrigerator let it chill for a little bit. Get that sugar dissolved a little bit. All right, cover that down, put in my refrigerator. Let's go and see what's up with the rice. Ooh, look at how, look at that. Isn't that a beauty, y'all? Nice and shelly. This rice is complete. Delicious, 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 delicious. As well as the meatballs, done. Okay, so let's get this all dished out. Yes, let's plate this to food. All right, so I got my rice out. I'm gonna put my meatballs around it. Yes, let's get it on this plate. Oh my goodness, this smells so good, y'all. Bomb. When I say delicious, finger licking good, boo. All right, throw some gravy on top of the rice. Let's get my coleslaw and add it to my dish. You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me over there on Instagram at, at uh, the Island in the Box Catering, okay? Um, email is there if you want to book for the Massachusetts area, if you're looking for a caterer, okay? All right. I will be posting my menu soon. There we have it, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for joining.